In the river of my own tears My friend, get ready, we're going to the village I hope there's no problem Does it look like there's any problem? Huh? Okay, babe. Um, I want you to take care of yourself and the kids, okay? Till I come back. Okay, sweetheart. I will. Okay. Again. Mm -hmm. Take okay. care of you. Yeah, you too. Bye. <laughs> Bye, sweetheart. <laughs> Fight for your child. I have nobody but you. Where is the love we used to share? Where is the peace and harmony? Where is the trust? All the Bye. Me is lost. I love you. The bond we used to share is broken. What have I done to deserve this? Have I not tried in my mortal ability? To live up to your will, Father, help me, hey, oh, and do not forsake me. Come and vindicate me, show them I am innocent of this allegation. I, I thought you said you were going to the village. This is not the road to the village. Nick. Nick, where are we going to? This is not the road to the village. Okay, hmm. Stop, Jogman. 
How could you disobey my order? I told you to come with both of them, including the boy you are cousin. Now, you came alone with her, and now you want her to take oath. Young man, imagine the ugly scene here. Ngungu cannot be part of anything that is not right. Nicodemus, you brought me to a native doctor. You brought me to a shrine. This thing, this whole thing is, I, I don't do that, I don't just understand. Father, they are why in now, why why you go to A woman I married with my money. When I ask her to do something, she'll be arguing with me. I don't, I don't understand. Hold eh? your peace. Hold your peace. Please hold your peace. No, Father, what I'm trying to say is this. I meant no harm. I only asked her to swear so that I'll be sure that she cannot hurt me. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're dead. There's nothing there. I said, hold your peace. You're in the presence of the Lord. I'm highly disappointed in you, Brother Nick. How could you afford people? How could you? We are Christians. And we should live by example. How could you go to the devil for inquiries over something God Almighty in heaven has already said to you? How could you do that? I'm disappointed in you. This is very appalling. What is wrong with you, Nicodemus? Huh? I don't know what is wrong with these children of this generation. Father, with all due respect. I want to say something. Brother James, please, man. Go ahead and say whatever you want to say. I'm going to say. It is said that the silence of a tiger does not mean that it has lost its strength. It's only calculating on how to catch its prey. Nicodemus, you have put my daughter into many pains emotionally, psychologically, and physically. And I'm quiet. But extending it to this means putting your hands into my eyes and I won't be silent again. You abducted my daughter to a shrine. That is a sacrilege for Christ's sake. Something that has never happened in my generation. In my own family. You know I'm a Christian. Eh? Father, look at this man. Eh? Listen and listen. This will be the first and the last. If this happens again, if I hear pain again, I will teach you a great lesson. Mm -hmm. Um, Mr. Mr. James, please come back, please. You see what you've cost? Hmm? Ranik, you see what you've cost? Let me tell you something. You need to make peace with your wife. You need to apologize to her. You have cost that woman so much pain. It's quite unfortunate. You need to make peace with her. And not just that. You need to come and confess your sins. That is the only way God Almighty in heaven can forgive you. Do I make myself clear? Father, I will ensure to bring him for confession. Please do. May the peace of the Lord be with you. God of mercy and compassion look with pity upon me jesus christ i ask for mercy <laughs> Oh God.
God of mercy. Have I not in my own human ability keep to your will? What have I done to deserve this humiliation? What have I done to lose everything that matters to me? Father, I have lost my home. I have lost my husband, the one you gave me. And I have lost my children. These are gifts you gave me. Yeah, yeah, I can see how happy that woman has been here since morning. Brother Chukwebuka, Father, it's quite pathetic. But I have to talk to her. Okay, Father. You can go now. Excuse me. Father, why peace of the Lord be with you. I'm with you, Father. And also with your spirit. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Daddy, I have thought that you will answer me over. Arise and fight my battle, O oh Lord. Daddy, arise and vindicate me. Say a word and let this storm be still in my mind. Daddy, Papa, It's okay, Sister Mary. Wipe your tears. Don't cry again, okay? You see, you see, the God we serve is neither deaf nor blind. Our God hears you and sees your tears. You see, in times like these, trial times, tribulation times, this is a time you need to have faith in God. You need not be discouraged in any way. The God that we serve is a God of possibilities. The God makes every impossibility to be possible. He will never disappoint you. Sister Mary, I want you to hold strong and firm to your faith. Well, um, I will make out time to see your husband and your mother-in-law. I need to make them serious. I'm their family friend. Aside the fact I'm their spiritual director, they will listen to me as a family friend. Thank you, Father. You're welcome. Thank you so much for everything. I appreciate your effort. Sister Mary, you don't need to thank me. I am not doing this by my power but by the power of God Almighty in heaven who sent me. Meanwhile, you look very stressed. You need to go home and rest. You need all the rest you can get. Thank you, Father. May the peace of the Lord Almighty be with you. Amen. You can go. Hey, 
Auntie Lydia, welcome. Good day. Why are you blocking our way? Um, um Nicholas, uh, please. Why don't you stop blocking our way? Yeah, you know, we What's what's going on? Um, um please, is, is my brother in law inside? No, he went out with the kids. Oh, he went out with the kids. What about my sister? I want to see her right now. She's inside, but I'm sorry you can't see. Why? Like I don't get what's happening. Actually, I got instructed that no one should see her. What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm Even sorry. me? I'm sorry. Ah! What's going on? I don't know. Then maybe you call him and talk to him. I'm sorry. Um, alright. Uh, I've been calling my sister ever since she left the village. She has not been picking up her calls. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I think Oga sees the phone too. What? what? I mean, why, 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 why would he do that? That's an abuse. I don't know. That's not fair. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll tell her you just said, please. Um, alright. This is my invitation card, my wedding invitation card. Please give it to my brother-in-law and my sister. Ooh. My fiancé and I are getting married. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, I, I, I will say give me All okay, right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Happen. Since how many years? Why don't stay with your guy? As long as don't pack come this house, why deal with them? No problem. Think they happen now. It should not be this edit of a girl. I don't trust this girl at all. Since we this girl come out from this house, from one problem to another. Hi, I don't trust this girl at all. My organ no get problem. A nice man. He has been taking care of me. He has been so nice. God, God, I beg. Help this man. Help this man from this trouble, from this temptation. I pray, God, please restore peace to this household. Please, Lord. Lift up my eyes to the hills. From where cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not let my foot to be moved. He that keepeth me will not slumber. He that keepeth me <laughs> Behold, he that keepeth Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is my shield. The Lord is my keeper. The sun shall not smite me by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve me. The Lord shall preserve my going out and coming in. God, you said in your word that you will not let me be put to shame. You said in your word that they that trust in you shall not be put to shame. For you are my God, and you shall preserve my going out and coming in all the days of my life. Help me, O oh Lord. Good day, madam. 
good day. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. I came to tell you your sister and they came with her friend. Where is she? I'm very sorry, man. They've gone. You remember, Oga said I should not allow anyone to see you, even your sister. So I'm only doing my job, man. No, it's, it's okay. I know you're only doing your job, I understand. Thanks for understanding, man. It's okay. Uh, here is the wedding invitation card. You said I should give it to you. My sister? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh my God! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Oh, I wish I had seen her. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. She's getting married. Yes, yes ma'am. I'm me too. I'm thank very happy you, for Jesus. you. Jesus, I'm so happy. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> um, um, please, uh, there is something I would like to tell you. Actually, I'm very sorry for everything you are going through in this house. I know you didn't do it. You're a nice person. But I want you to believe that the God Almighty will see you through. All your enemies, they must live to regret very soon. Oga Nicholas, thank you very much. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Please, I want to report back to my duty post. God bless you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Hey, oh, oh. I'm getting drowned in the river of my own tears and anguish. And how do I explain this? How do I make you see what I told you? Your brother-in-law is so wicked and heartless. I mean, how could he deny his own wife of her freedom and confiscate her phone in this modern society? Who does that? He needs to be sued for this. You can't let him walk away like that. I understand, honey. But there's nothing we can do about it. Please, let them sort out their differences. Besides, marriage is, is, is something that one doesn't need to interfere in. Yes, we've done everything possible for them to, you know, sort out their differences. But to no avail, now we have to think about our marriage and forget about any other person. Do you understand? It's okay, you're right though. <laughs> Concentrate on what you're doing, please. <laughs> hmm. Watch out. <laughs> Love is beautiful, I tell you, it's so meaningful Love is everything now, it feels like heaven on earth It's like once upon a time, there's a king and a queen Baby, our stories will be told, everybody's gonna know how much I love you oh, oh, oh. Love is beautiful Dr. Rex I think my wife is in a better position to explain to you what actually happened. It's okay. So, madam, what happened? While I was sleeping, I had a nightmare. Okay. And then I woke up. I... I saw... Blood all over me, all over my thighs. I, I felt so dumbfounded. I felt terrible. I feel so it's terrible. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's okay. No? Just for yourself, right? It's okay. It's okay. I don't know what I'm going to no, do right now. Right. Right. <laughs> Medically, this is miscarriage. Oh my God! She just had miscarriage. <laughs> what? You just had this courage, all right? Okay, put yourself together, all right? Uh, Tony, I'm going to run some series of tests to ascertain the level of damage and what actually caused this. But for now, you need to give your wife a special treats. She's really passing through a lot now. Thank you, doctor. 
It's okay. What are friends for? Madam, please take it easy on yourself. No, 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 Sleep? Did you just say sleep? How am I supposed to sleep when I am not happy? Tell me! You're crying! Stop! Don't touch me! I am not happy! Please! You just have to calm down, please! Calm down? Did you just say I should calm down? Yes! For a man drowning in sorrow, you asked me to calm down. Maybe there is something you need to tell me. Because don't... you don't seem bothered. How? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're saying. Why? Hey, please, you just, you just have to calm down, please. Please. Everything is going to be alright. Please, it is not my fault. I don't know. I don't know what to do right now. I don't know what to do. Please, babe, just don't. Babe. Oh, God, what am I doing wrong? Why are you doing this to me? Why is my life so miserable? Oh, God. <laughs> Drown in the river of my own tears and anguish 
And how do I explain this? How do I make them believe I am innocent? Hey, hey, Father, help me. Hey, oh, and do not forsake me. Come on, Mama, could you please me? Mama, you didn't mention you were coming. Um, Mama, you're welcome. Good evening. We weren't expecting you, Mama. Son, my son, come. Let's go inside. We need to talk. Um, Mama, please let me help you carry your bag inside. Come. Because of what is bothering me so much. What could that be, Mama? What else? If not your childless situation. Look, my son, you are no longer getting any younger. And it is clear that the fault is from your wife, indeed. Look, my son, that girl is barren. You need to get yourself a fertile woman and get yourself responsible. My son, don't let me to die in tears. Oh, Mama. Mama, Mama, what's it called? It's okay. You worry too much, Mama. Even the last time you called, I told you what the doctor said. We are both fine. My wife is not barren. I am fine. Mama, believe me, everything will be okay. No, my son. Mama, just a little patience. Everything will be fine. We'll give you grandchildren, Mama, please. A little patience. Mama, you... A little patience. For how long will I wait in bed? Eh? Tell me, my son. Look, divorce that girl. Divorce her. If you cannot divorce her, I will divorce her myself. Huh? I can get you a real woman. G just give me four days. Four days. I will get you a real woman. Mama, it doesn't work like that. I love my wife. Oh. of this house and neighbors with this your useless voice. Eh? Stop pretending. It is is no way. I know you are a wish. Yes, you have eaten your wound up. That makes you a barren, a barren woman. So stop distracting my son. Mama, you called me a witch, Mama. You called me a witch, Mama. You called me a witch. <laughs> Oh God, God will judge. Mama, you can't be a witch. Isn't that even a compliment? Eh? In fact, you are a demon. Yes, Iba Moshi. It's fine. Amoshi, Ocha. Ocha, Oh God, why is it? 
Imagine my mother in law calling me a witch. A witch? Yes, that I am the cause of our childlessness. Hey. Tell me, how am I a witch? How am I a witch? Tell me, how am I a witch? Am I a witch for loving her son? Am I a witch for being a good wife? And standing by him, even in all this moment of our predicament. Tell me, it's okay. It's okay. am I a witch? It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Listen, stop crying. Situations like this are being judged by mother-in-laws. You cannot blame her. She's trying to protect her son, okay? J j just be strong. No, how do you expect me to be strong? How? With all this constant attack, all this attack on me, how? You don't expect me to stay strong. Is it a cause that I got into a matrimonial bond? Is it? I am just sick and tired and tired. It's okay, stop crying. <laughs> Listen, I, I have a suggestion about this. What's it? I think you. You need to seek a spiritual solution. Because this your problem is beyond the ordinary. You need a man of God. You need prayers. You think so? I know so, my friend. I know so. You need prayers. Because, because this world is being controlled by the spiritual. You need serious prayers. Okay? It's crying, shouting will not solve the problem. Yes, it's only prayers that can solve it. Okay? I'm here for you. I understand you. I don't know. I'm tired. Okay. I don't know why my life is like this. Your life is okay. My no. life is so unfortunate. It's okay. I don't know. It's okay. I'm tired. That's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Everything will be fine, okay? You have children. You have plenty of children. I need it. I need it. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> With a series of tests conducted, both of you are fit medically. Yes, you are fit. Uh, we've not been able to ascertain the reason for the miscarriage. So, uh... can we say we will have one on one talk? Rex, what is it you need me to know? Please talk to me, please. What is it? Tony, calm down. Calm down. Listen, you're my friend. We are friends. We are family friends. Even though your lifestyle contradicts mine and we do have differences sometimes, but I still watch your back. Listen to me. The situation between you and your wife is the reason I asked her to leave and I really needed to talk to you. Like a brother. Tony, I think you need to go spiritual. You need to see a man of God. Uh, Father, good evening. Sister Indide, thank Father. you for your patience. How are you? 
I'm fine, thank you, Father. May the peace of the Lord be with you. Amen. 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 And also with your spirit. Amen. Amen. It's quite pathetic what both of you has been going through. I really feel pity for you. Knowing that you've been married for five years and yet nothing to show for it. Yes. I'm yes. really sorry. Yes, Father. You see, I was praying inside before I came outside to meet with you because the Holy Spirit told me that you are the architect of your own failure. What? Yes. Me? How? I... You caused what? all what is happening to you. Father, what are you talking about? What I'm talking about is there is something you did against somebody, someone dear to you. You did something bad to your flesh and blood. What? Yes. No. This happened many years before you got married to her. Can you remember? The soul you offended has known no peace ever since then. And you can never know peace as long as that lady has not forgiven you. You will never hear the cry of a baby in your home. You have to go back to that lady. Look for her. Search for her wherever she is. Ask for her forgiveness. Beg her, if possible, cry. That is the only solution for you to bear a child for your husband. Do I make myself clear? Do you remember what I'm talking about, Sister Ndidi? You know what? The Holy Spirit just ministered to me now that this case is an urgent and pathetic war and need an immediate action. Please, can you take me by the way to see this lady? Yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. You have the direction, you know the address? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, to so my car, let's go immediately. Okay. Getting drowned in the river of my own tears and anguish. And how do I explain this? How do I make them believe I am innocent? Hey, hey, Father, help me. Hey, oh, and do not forsake me. Come and vindicate me. Show them I am innocent of this allegation. Oh, Father, help me. Where are you going to dress like this? I'm going to see a friend. You're going to see a friend? And who did you inform that you're going to see a friend? I told my daddy. So why should I tell you again? Why should you tell me? So if you don't shut that thing, you call him out, I will shut it for you with slap. Are you mad? I can see that the, the seed of rebellion that your father implanted in you children is growing out of hand. That's why you can open your mouth and talk to me like that. And why are you dressed like this? Did I not tell you to always wear a long top on your leggings and not a short top? And what is that nonsense on your face? Is that makeup? Since when did you start making up? It's so don't you? How is that your business? Won't you leave me alone? After all, my dad said I shouldn't listen to you. So don't you? So don't you? What's going on here? Can you imagine your daughter? Can you imagine the way she's talking to me? And then look, look at, look at, look at the nonsense she's wearing with, with that stupid makeup on her face going out. And you have the girl to complain? Whatever lifestyle she's living, she took after you. Nicodemus, is that how you have to say? So you cannot discipline your child. Daddy, don't mind her. Always looking for a way to buy her trouble and anger. Are you mad? Do you realize you're talking to your mother? Have you, have you gone insane? Mommy, 
I'm sorry. I, I didn't know what came over me. I'm sorry. Mommy, I'm sorry. I promise I won't do it again. Mommy, I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. I'm sorry. Father, the peace of the Lord be unto this house. I don't know. Good day. Good day. Good day. You're welcome. Good. You're welcome. Nice to see you. Yeah. Um, please move. Come with Father Joe to discuss something very important. Please sit. Ah, okay. Sit down. Sit down. My dear, I... I come so we'll talk things over. Okay? As you can see, I'm a grown man. <clears throat> I'm enlightened. So, my dear, I brought you here so we'll talk things over. You know, that's why I, I chose this place. Okay? <laughs> All right. I, you see, I'm, I've been into relationships. But I've not actually come across that person who has actually captured my mind, my spirit, my soul. 